My name is Joe. If you haven't been here before, you found yourself at the Joe is Hungry channel, wrapped in dough, pulled straight out of the fryer, right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Colin, Johnny, Josh, and Sarah, Darren, Josie, Mason, and Carowith, Ethan, Dalton, Ben, and Medhat, Zach, Stephanie, Mona, and Mallory. I want to wish a very special Joe is Hungry birthday shout out to each and every one of you. And before we move on with this video, we need to do a very special box opening. I actually knew what this was before I got it. This is the Speedy Brand Hot Sauce, the Will Neff Edition. Will Neff is a quite well-known and very entertaining Twitch streamer. If you don't know who he is, check him out. I have the link in the description below. When Will sent this for me to check out, I don't think he realized that I was a hot sauce wimp and that I generally avoid spicy foods. It would be kind of disingenuous for me to give this a score like I do in the food reviews, other than the one to 10 Joe Heatometer, because I really don't eat enough hot sauce to compare it to, to give it a legitimate score. But because Will is a friend of the channel and I consider him to be a friend of mine, today I'm gonna take one for the team. one to ten Joe heat meter I would probably give this about a four it is not near as hot as I thought it would be I pick up this deep rich sort of tangy flavor maybe almost citrusy I'm not really sure about that it seems to combine well with other flavors like the chips and especially the sour cream well I'm actually kind of surprised here I expected to get my face burned off today but that didn't happen. I actually like the flavors. It's unfortunate I can't give it a numeric score that's gonna have any sort of credibility, but it is what it is. So, I guess it's time to move on with this video and thank everybody that participated in this week's food poll because you're sending me to check out the first runner up, the Checkers and Rally's new limited time offer, the deep fried Buford Bite. These mini meat pastries, theoretically designed to mimic the taste of the big Buford, are made of pieces of 100% hamburger meat, melted American cheese, dill pickle fragments and ketchup, stuff in a bite sized crunchy coating. Each order of four will tip your diet scales to the tune of 250 calories. I have the full nutritional information on the screen and in the description below. Each four piece order will draw your dwindling bank account down to the tune of $2.99 before taxes in Georgia. Is this a good deal or just an overpriced high profit side order? Since Checkers refuses to divulge their serving weights, we're going to have to resort to our own methodology later in the video when we break out the scales and do the Joe is Hungry weight test and calculate the actual out the door fast food price per ounce. So let's see if these things are made hot and ready, pulled right out of the fire and roll the drive through at Checkers in Calhoun, Georgia. Oh, can I get Could I get three orders of Buford Bites, no drink? Anything else? No, that's all. All right, so it'll be 16. Thank you. All right, see you, man. I've got my Buford Bites. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Buford bite number one is 162.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Buford bite number two is 144.0 degrees Fahrenheit. Buford bite number three is 144.3 degrees Fahrenheit. If you haven't been to my channel before, I like my temperatures at 140 degrees 
or above. Hotter is always better. Actually, I was expecting these to be a little bit hotter than that. I had high hopes that they had snatched them right out of the fryer and maybe they'd be burning my mouth. But today, checkers, Calhoun, you're still within parameters, so you pass. The Joe is hungry, temperature test. Now it's time to crack them open, see what's inside, get ready to do a Joe's hungry autopsy, head back to the studios and do the Joe is hungry weight test. And in the interest of transparency and keeping everything fair, we take off for the packaging. In other words, we set the tear on the scales. Buford bite number two weighs in at 2.00 ounces or 56 grams. Buford bite number two weighs in at 2.45 ounces or 69 grams. Buford bite number three again weighs in at 2.45 ounces or 69 grams. Well, one of them was a little bit light. These are obviously machine made. Today, I'm gonna cut checkers a little bit of slack and let them pass the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Now, checkers, they refuse to divulge their serving weights to the general public. I'm kind of beginning to see why, but that only leaves one more thing to do, and that would be add them all up, average them out, do the math, and you come up with an eye-popping $1.30 an ounce. Now it kind of looks like they have a little bit of that giving us less for more action going on, and that only leaves us to the next chapter, the one and only, the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. This is what they look like, and this is what they're supposed to look like. This is what they look like, and this is what they're supposed to look like. We've seen what they look like, and they're not too terribly far off their advertised photo. These just don't ever seem to look as full as they do in the picture. And we saw how much it was. My goodness. Well, that only leaves one more test to do, and that would be the one and only, the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is, Bite Test, engage. When you bite into some of these, they seem like they're nearly empty. It's like much of the filling just boiled away in the deep fryer. The dominant flavor here is cheese with a little bit of burger seasoning in the background. As far as the pickle fragments and the ketchup goes, I can't taste any, I don't see any, and as far as I'm concerned, they don't exist. Does the flavor here put me in mind of the namesake, the Big Buford Burger? Not a chance. They're small and unattractive, they definitely need some sort of dipping sauce. But before I pass any judgment, I'd like to get Shadow Joe's take and roll back the clocks, take a peek back in time, and do the Joe is Hungry Sneak-a-Doodle Bite. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number one. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number two. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number three. What you thinking, boss? Just wait a second. All right, all right. Cheesy, a little under seasoned, a little underwhelming. The filling is kind of boiled away. Kind of makes it seem like there's not much in it. Let's move on with this video. Well, apparently we're on like minds on this one because neither of us are a bit impressed. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10. Nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the number that it truly deserves. 
checkers, rallies. What I see here is an overpriced, transparent, misguided attempt at giving us less for more. And whoever the master chef is that came up with this huge brainstorm, you may want to consider your future life choices. Although bland and unappealing, it is edible. That in and of itself would keep it from sliding down the slope, but for the ridiculous price. Guys, just let this one go by. Keep your cash in your pocket. Checkers, today I'm gonna go 4.1. That is my number. This is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.